little girl at a birthday party. Mm, beautiful. How were you dressed at this birthday party? Mm -hmm. I'm dressed in a pink dress with blue mm -hmm. leggings. Mm, beautiful. Look at your shoes. Mm -hmm. They're white. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Maybe four or five. Mm -hmm. I tell my mom I don't want to wear them. It doesn't match. Mm -hmm. What does your mommy say? It matches. Mm -hmm. Just wear it. Uh huh. <laughs> Look all around you. Who's with you today? Mm, my cousins are here. Mm -hmm. We're all sitting at a little table. And how is that making you feel? I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Is this your birthday? It's my birthday. Mm -hmm. What is so special about this day? What do you see around you that you enjoy so much? Family. Mm -hmm. My cousins. They're all here. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to just check in with that emotion. How does that emotion make you feel? Excited. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just absorb it in. Just feel this. Hmm. And feel how you can apply this excitement, this love that you're feeling into the rest of your life. Imagine you taking this moment now as if it was like a little bottle that you can bottle this up hmm. now. Hmm. Where would you like to put this emotion? My heart. Mm -hmm. So let's put it in your heart now. Feel it in your heart. Allow it to go into your heart. So you can access that any time you wish. What's coming up now? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Just absorb it. It's just a wonderful feeling. Very good. And now we're going to leave that scene and begin to travel again to another scene, another memory that has affected you. So I'm going to once again count from five back to one. When I get to number one, I'll once again touch your forehead and you'll be at that memory. It could be in this lifetime or another lifetime. Take a deep breath in five, traveling now through time and space. Four to another memory. Three, something that has affected you. Two, and one, be there now. Where are you? There's Indian tents. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's just a group all together. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What else do you see? I feel like they're all dead. They're all dead. Look at yourself. What do you look like? I'm female with braids. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Late teens, early twenties. Mm -hmm. I'm all alone. I've come back from somewhere, and I found them all dead. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Shock, mm -hmm. sadness, mm -hmm. disbelief. I'm so alone. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's find out a little bit about this. We're going to go back to the time when you weren't in this disbelief before mm. this happened. I'm going to count from three to one. When I get to number one, you'll be there. Close the scene. Three, two, one. Be there now. I'm little again. Mm-hmm. I'm playing with other children by the water. Mm -hmm playing some sort of tag game. Mm -hmm. My mother's there. She's laughing at us. <laughs> Describe what everyone looks like there. 
How are they dressed? Um, brown, um, like a brown sack dress with colorful ties around their waist. Mm -hmm. My brother, my mother has beautiful dark hair braided, beautiful feather. She has beautiful pale skin. I love my mother a lot. Mm -hmm. She's got boots, tall boots, up to her knees. Mm -hmm. Mm. Take a look at her eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. Does she look familiar? This is my mother. Mm -hmm. Connect with her soul. Mm. She loves me a lot. Mm -hmm. I ask her why she had to leave me. She did. She said she didn't want to mm -hmm. this time. <sighs> ask her but right what... now we're happy. Uh-huh. So I'd like for you now to just enjoy this moment <laughs> with your mom, with the others. <laughs> what is it that you're doing there? We're just playing. Mm -hmm. She's watching over us with such love in her eyes. We're having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And We're in this dancing, like a, it's some sort of funny dance. Mm -hmm. and we're enjoying it so much. Mm. Good. So let's close this scene and now let's go to the place where you live. Be there now. Mm. It's inside a teepee. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different furs on the ground. Different colors. There's a fire in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's very warm. Who else is there with you? I want to say my dad, but he's not there very much. Mm -hmm. What does your dad do? He's bald with a long ponytail and braided in the middle of his head. Mm -hmm. He's very stern. Mm -hmm. Loving, but very stern. He has respect and duty that he has to do. But he's always sad when he has to go. But he gives great kisses. Mm -hmm. And are you by yourself, or are there any other siblings there? I think there's a sister. Mm -hmm. And you will recognize her soul if you know her. I want to say it's Denise. I want to say it's my sister now. Mm -hmm. so I want you to just feel the feeling of being in that place. I think there's a boy too. Mm -hmm. There's very little. It's a very good life. Very good. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and let's move forward <coughs> to the day in which you came back to that village. What were you doing before they came back? I was in the forest with my horse. Mm -hmm. We were by the water. I feel sick to my stomach. What are you feeling there at the stream? I'm shaking. Mm -hmm. Where? Well, no, at the stream, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love being by the stream. What is taking you there, but on this day? Nature, mm -hmm. the animals, the birds. My horse. What kind of connection do you have with your horse? Mm. She's like my soulmate. Mm -hmm. We ride hard. We're free in the wind. And in this state, you can connect with your horse telepathically. Mm. What is your horse telling you today? Let's ride. Mm -hmm. Let's ride fast. Mm -hmm. And is that what you do? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I get on her back. 
my fingers are entangled through her hair. We ride. We ride over the plains. That's why we're by the river to rest. Mm -hmm. Get some water for her and for myself. How old are you there? Mm, 22, 23. And what do they call you? I want to say little horse. <laughs> What is it? Little horse. Little horse. That's your name? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So let's take you now to the moment where you go back to your village. No, I don't want to go there. I scream. What has happened? I don't know. Someone has killed him. The white man has come through. The white man has come through. I'm so angry. I get on my horse and just ride. Let's see where your horse takes you. Where do you go after you leave this place? Into the mountains, into the forest. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go back. I'm so angry. How could the gods let this happen? I'm alone. I'm so alone. <sighs> so I'd like for you to move forward. Move forward in that lifetime to the next significant event. I'm very old. I'm living in the mountains. What? I've become like a medicine woman or a type of shaman or. Hmm. <coughs> I have long gray hair and a colored blanket over my shoulders. Mm -hmm. I've spent the rest of my life alone in the mountains. My horse is gone. So I'd like for you to move forward to the last day of your life. And tell me where you are. I'm in my tent. Mm -hmm. I'm still angry. Mm-hmm. Try to give thanks to the gods. But I'm still angry. As you look at your whole life, why do you imagine this happens? What did you learn from it? That everything has a purpose, even if I don't like it and understand it. It's like to feel alone. Mm -hmm. Alone and angry. Mm -hmm. All right, so like, take a moment now and take your last breath. Take your last breath. And just release that spirit from that body. And tell me what you see as you leave that body. I'm floating above the tent. Mm -hmm. I'm happy again. I'm lighter, I'm younger. I'm floating towards the heavens. Mm -hmm. To the stars. Keep going. I'm 
the sky is so dark and the stars are so bright. Mm -hmm. Keep going back further and further into the stars. I don't have to go much farther. They're all there waiting for me. Mm. Who's there waiting for you? My mother and my father. Mm -hmm. What do they say to you? Welcome home. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. We're sorry that we left you alone. I run to them and they hug me. Mm -hmm. They welcome me. It's so good to see them. I've missed them so much. Look around you and see if there are any others there. <laughs> My horse is mm -hmm. there. <laughs> she's not white as I thought. She's white and brown. And mm -hmm. She's beautiful. <laughs> you can connect with her telepathically now. Mm. What does she say to you? Mm -hmm. That I love you and that I've missed you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's ride hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. what do you do? I get on her and we ride hard. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? It's almost like we're flying and riding at the same time mm -hmm. through the vastness of space. Mm. Mm, my family's watching us and laughing. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good to be home. Look around you and see if there are any guides mm. there. Mm. The long bearded haired man I saw last night in meditation is there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and ask him who he is. He says I'm your father. Mm -hmm. Ask him to explain. I'm your guidance and counselor. Mm -hmm. Give you wisdom. I'm the one, the one who knows the knowledge of all things. Mm -hmm. I want to say, he says that I am God. Mm -hmm. He's in a long robe. Mm -hmm. Why does he appear to you in that way? Because that's how I picture him. Mm. Wonderful. Why has he brought you here today? What did you need to know about this life that you just lived? That I'm more than I think I am. Mm -hmm. Why did you have to go through such anger, such strong emotions, such loneliness? I asked for it. Hmm. Why is that? Because I'm always too happy. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to know what it felt like. It's an awful feeling. Mm -hmm. Are there any remnants of that feeling in other lifetimes that are being lived? by this entity? Mm. They will miss when I'm dying on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I want you to see all those lifetimes before you. And you could just pick one by one and see where you have taken this feeling. Just describe it so you remember. The man on the battlefield. Yeah, no, I'm alone. I'm not. I'm never alone. Mm hmm. Who's there with you? God is always with me. Mm hmm. My angels are always with me. Mm hmm. What else do you see?
they've all come to greet me. There's angels. Mm -hmm. Who are these angels you work with? Raphael. Mm -hmm. Seraphin. Mm -hmm. Gabriel. Metatron. Mm -hmm. They're all there. The archangels are all there. Mm -hmm. They tell me I am an angel. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more about that. I've chosen this. Zachariah. Mm -hmm. That's Tell. who they're calling me. You're Zachariah? Mm hmm. Why has Zachariah chosen to take on this? this pain of a human life. The anger, the loneliness. So I can understand how they feel. Mm -hmm. Why is there so much trouble and turmoil? Why can't they just pick the easy way, the simple way, the happy way? Mm -hmm. What have you found out? Humans want to be loved. Sometimes they don't know how. Through pain and turmoil, they somehow find their way out through love. Mm -hmm. I have beautiful wings. Mm. Describe the form that you take. Hmm. Look at your skin. How is your skin? It's creamy. Mm -hmm. Light. Mm. I like to question things. I want to know why things happen. The way that they work. My quest for knowledge. So where has this quest for knowledge taken you, Zachariah? I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here on Earth. For what purpose are you here now? Hmm. I'm here to heal the Earth. Mm -hmm. Using what way? Mm -hmm. Shelley actually knows. How does she do that? She grounds herself into Mother Earth. She opens up her lotus petal crown chakra. Hmm. The energy combines and expands throughout the Earth. Has she always done this? In ways she did not know, but she knows now. She's been doing it. Mm hmm What caused her awakening in this lifetime? She saw a young man die too early in life. She questioned the purpose of life. So she started to seek. She started to seek. She sees that people are hurting everywhere. She wants to heal them. She wants them to help them heal. She wants the earth to heal. Is she being effective? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
She's thinking of taking on different modalities, energy work, Reiki, hypnosis. Will this help her heal others and herself? Yes, but only those that want to be helped. Mm -hmm. She's doing good with her energy work on the earth. Mm -hmm. But there are times when she feels too much. She feels emotions mm -hmm. that are very strong. She asked for it. Mm -hmm. Why does this anger and this strong emotion mm -hmm. linger? She knows where that comes from. That's from the native life. Mm -hmm. She's still angry that she was left alone even though she asked for it. Mm -hmm. I can feel it in this body. It's shaking. Mm -hmm. She's still angry. Where is she holding all of that? Oh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. How is that her root chakra? Mm -hmm. And her feet, her whole left side is vibrating from the anger. Mm -hmm. Why would she keep something like this in this lifetime? How will it benefit her? It drives her drives her to help people. Mm -hmm. But what is it doing to her body? It's raising her vibration. It is. So she did she ask to bring this anger with her for a purpose? Yes, uh -huh. I know. Mm -hmm. Let's find out the root of that. Can you take her to the moment in which she was planning her life? To find out the challenges that she asked for? The people? The emotions? The gifts? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, she's going to love this one. It has to do with all of the exes. Mm -hmm. And the trauma and the turmoil that's caused. She had to suppress her anger for the children. She wanted to lash out and retaliate. But she didn't, she kept it in to protect her kids. Mm -hmm. Was that on purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. She had to do what's right for them. It was important that they're raised lovingly and happy. So were those in her life part of the plan? To help her suppress the sang? Yes, she's already been dealing with it for so long. Mm -hmm. And she knows how to deal with it. Wonderful. So she's learned something. Mm-hmm. But does she need to keep mm -hmm. all of this in her body now? No, she needs to let it go. All right. Now. Are we ready to release that now? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin finding all of the parts of the body in which this anger is being affecting this body. And I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over your heart. And we're going to release that through my hand and take it right up to the universe. So feel that my energy... And just release that. I want you to begin pulling it out. Pulling out that energy. Releasing it, letting it go. Identifying it. Identifying all of those times. And just pull it right out. Pulling it, sending it out. You tell me when I have it all. Mm, I don't know if you can get it all. 
Mm. Keep pulling it. Keep pulling it all out. There's so much. Mm -hmm. Keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and touch her shoulder. When I do, she'll be able to open her eyes. And when she comes back, she'll go even deeper than she is now. Eyes open. Doing great. I'd like for you to go ahead and connect once again to Zachariah. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the body now and see how the all of that anger has come out. Mm, it's gone, but it's vibrating. All right. So now that we've taken all that out, how mm. can we fill that space now? What we, what we could mm. in, put in there lots instead? Lots of love and light. All right. So let's put lots of love and light. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over your heart. And I'd like for you to go ahead and begin putting in all of that love and light. What color light are we transforming mm. this space pink into? Pink and purple. Beautiful pink and purple White. light. Go ahead and mm, let's put it all in there. And I'm also going to tap your mind, and let's put it into your mind also. And as you breathe that light in, see how it's transforming that area. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Feel it transforming all of that area that was before infested with all of that anger. Soothing it now, almost like a nice ointment. It feels fat. Mm, wonderful. It's lighter. Mm -hmm, very good. And now in this lighter state, mm. how is that going to affect Shelley? Because she was questioning how she can connect even more. Mm. Open up her third eye, see things, travel. Mm -hmm. How will this leasing of this anger help her? Let go of the anger. Mm -hmm. Listen to where you need to go. You know where you need to go. She has someone stuck at her feet, though. Mm -hmm. What is this? He's that's stubborn. Mm -hmm. Who is this that's stuck in her this feet? This is Marcus. Marcus, okay. Mm -hmm. It seems that Marcus made himself known the other mm -hmm. day. He didn't like what she was doing. Ah, okay. So would you allow us to connect with Marcus now? Hmm. He's hiding. Ah, well, I'm going to go ahead and shake him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have Marcus come up and use your vocal cords. So I'd like for you to go ahead and give Marcus your vocal cords. Marcus, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, 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 up,
Well, did you know, Marcus, that if you went to the light, you'd have all of those that loved you in the light with you? Mm. You wouldn't be alone? Did you know that? No. No, it's true. You see, if you were listening to what she was saying, in that life, as that native, she went home and she saw her family once again. Mm -hmm. But you've been sticking with her and not even doing that. Hmm. I'm sure there's someone who loved you. <sighs> yeah, there was a girl once, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to yeah. see her again? Yes. Okay, so Marcus, the way we do that mm -hmm. is you have forgotten that God created you with light. You are light, mm -hmm. and that light is within you. Go ahead and take a look and see that mm -hmm. spark that's mm -hmm. in you. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to use your mind and expand that light. And as you expand it, you're going to feel that love coming through. Tell me when you feel that. Mm -hmm. It's taking over. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger and bigger. Mm. Wow, it's pretty big. Now within that light, you'll be able to connect with the source. I can see them, they're waiting for me. All right. Michael's there. Mm -hmm. But before you go, mm -hmm. you've done something to this soul, this yes, entity. I know. What would you like to tell her? I'm so sorry, Sha. Mm -hmm. made you go down paths you didn't need to go and wanted to go. Mm -hmm. What else have I you done to you? her? I made you feel emotions. I made you feel the anger. Mm -hmm. I made it rise up so you could feel it again. Anything else that you made her feel? Stomach pains. Mm-hmm. Agitation. Mm-hmm. Your knees. Your feet. I wanted to control where you went. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I'd like for you now, Marcus, to release your energy from all of her body. And Shelley, do you forgive Marcus? Yes, of yes. course. So I'd like for you to go ahead and cut any cords that you see connected to your body from Marcus. And as you cut them, dissolve those cords. And Marcus, I'd like for you now to find your guide, your own personal guide that is always with you. Mm -hmm. I see him. What does he say to you? Come on home. All right. Go ahead and take your guide's hand, Marcus, mm -hmm. and tell me what happens as you go home. We're walking into the light. Mm -hmm. I'm saying goodbye to Shelley, and I'm sorry. Marcus, may the light of the universe mm -hmm. always accompany you. Thank you so much. Peace be with mm -hmm. you. Goodbye, Marcus. Very good. So now I'd like for you to go ahead and fill that space mm -hmm. where Marcus was with something. Mm -hmm that can transform all of that emotion that Marcus had there. What would you like to put in your feet, in your legs, mm. in your stomach? Beautiful light. Beautiful. What color would you like to use? Mm, white with some yellow. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and begin sending that light mm. there. Let me know when you're done. Yes, my feet are lighter. Wonderful. Now, did this have anything to do with the vertigo that she was experiencing also? No. That's something else? There's just a lot going on in her head. Mm -hmm. She needed to sort through things. She thinks way too much. Mm -hmm. She's doubting herself. It's just too much going on. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend she do? She's been doing some meditating. She's on the right way. She's she's getting there. The mm -hmm. more she meditates, the more she's clear in thought. And she doesn't pick up everyone else's emotions when she meditates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this Marcus was affecting her knees also in her hips, or is that something else? Mm -hmm. He controlled her to walk in ways that made her body 
is hurt. jointed. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Are there any other influences that are are affecting her? There's a little girl. Mm. Where is this little girl? She's in her abdomen. Okay. Is she ready to speak now? She's hiding as well. She's hiding. She's scared. All right. Well, we can we can help her with that. I'm going to go ahead and use my energy to bring her up. And as I pull her up, 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 you're going to allow her to speak. Mm. Good morning. She's the little girl from the fire. Ah, okay. Lend her your lips and your voice. Mm -hmm. You there. What is your name? Hmm. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, how long mm -hmm. have you been there with Shelly? Forever. Forever. When did you find her? I was brought with her. You did. And what lifetime was that? I was the little girl in the fire. Mm-hmm. Shelly was scared as a child. Mm-hmm. I came to comfort her. You did. But you needed comforting, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you go home? Back to God? Because I saw my siblings crying under the tree. Mm. I didn't want them to be alone. Mm. So how did you know Shelly? Because Shelly was the little girl. Ah, okay. I am Shelly. Mm -hmm. So why do you remain as a little fractal in her abdomen. Why do you need to be there? Because as a little girl, she was afraid, huh? Mm. She would sneak over to her sister's bed. But she shouldn't have been afraid because the angels were coming to see her at night. Mm -hmm. And she didn't know she was scared. I see. So she has kept this memory with her all this time? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does she need this any longer? The memory? Mm-hmm. Of the angels? No, of the fire. The fire. The fire can go. That's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just the little girl, the scared part of her. Mm-hmm. Let's find out more about that. Does she need to hold on to this mm -hmm. fear any longer? This little girl inside of her any longer? No, she knows that it was the angels in the night now. Okay, good. So go ahead and look at this. Review it as the adult Shelley. Hmm. You can go home, Sarah. Go ahead and let her go. It's okay to go home. And I'd like for you to bring in your oversoul, the one who actually designed this. Hmm. Why was this little girl needed in Shelley's life? Because the little girl was very brave in that life when the fire came upon her. Mm -hmm. She stayed so strong. Shelley needed her to help her stay strong. Mm -hmm. to understand that even though they're little they have so much strength within them don't be afraid you're never alone you're never alone you just had to open up your eyes mm -hmm. and see that it was the angels that were there not a scary monster good so now that she understands that mm -hmm. can we release that Where is she holding that? In her stomach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and use whatever you need to use in order to release it. You can use water mm -hmm. to calm down the fire. You can use a vacuum mm -hmm. to pull out whatever you need. Anything that's left mm -hmm. there. The little girl has gone. The water is flowing nicely. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Wonderful. 
And now that we have that, let's continue for the rest of the body. What else do we see in the rest of the body? Mm. There's still heaviness in the heart. Mm -hmm. So let's find the origin of that heaviness. I'm going to count from five to one. And I'd like for you to dive deep into that heart. And as I count, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin verbally saying whatever emotions are being caught up. When we get to number one, we'll find the origin of where they all come from. Begin now. Five. Mm. What emotions are there? I couldn't save them, Elba. Mm. They were my troops and I couldn't save them. They're all dying around me. There's nothing I could have done. Mm -hmm. Go deeper. Four. Mm -hmm. Three, even deeper. They were my responsibility. Go deep yeah. into that heart. Two. See what's in that heart. One. Mm -hmm. What is that emotion? Sadness. Sadness. Desperate. Mm hmm. Anger. Mm hmm. Pull it out. Keep saying. <sighs> they made me bring them here. I didn't want to do this. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to bring them here. <laughs> They're all dying. I didn't want to listen to my superiors. <sighs> what is your name? <sighs> what is your name? What do they call you? Alfred. 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 Alfred, where are you? I'm in battle. Mm -hmm. What country is this, Alfred? <sighs> I just came from Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. That's where we just were, my husband and I in this life. Mm -hmm. I brought them here and I couldn't save them. Take a look at your body, Alfred. What do you look like? I think I'm in blue. Mm -hmm. I think I'm Union. Mm -hmm. Look at your men. They're all over the crowd. Mm -hmm. What has saved you, Alfred? I'm above looking down. Mm. You weren't saved either, were you? Not yet. Mm. I am, I'm alive now. You are alive think, now. Okay. But I can see them falling. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Alfred, disconnect yourself from that life and connect with your oversoul to see why you have had to experience that life. What is the I purpose? I can't save everybody. Mm -hmm. I want to save them all. Why do you have to experience this, Alfred? Because Shelley wants to save them all as she can't. Mm -hmm. She wants to help them all, but they have their own path, mm -hmm. their own journey, their own lives. You can't save them all. So what has that done to your heart, Alfred? It's made it so very sad. Mm -hmm. Desperation. Mm -hmm. Release from that lifetime. Just release from that lifetime. <sighs> And let's go back to Zechariah. Go mm -hmm. back to Zechariah. And as Zechariah, you could see why you chose that life. Why did you choose that life of that Union mm -hmm. soldier as Alfred? Humans have their own destiny. They make their own choices. We can't save them all. There are reasons that people choose the path that they choose. You have to let them experience that even if you know that they're going to get hurt. So Alfred is still carrying all of that sadness and it's affecting all of the lifetimes. 
hard to let go. Mm -hmm. We're meant to take responsibility for things and actions. So is Alfred. Can Alfred forgive himself now? Understanding that each person has their own destiny, their own will, their own choice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the one to forgive is yourself. Are you willing to give up that sadness now knowing that you were there as part of their plan too? I see some of them coming forward mm -hmm. and thanking me. They said I brought humor into their last moments of their lives. Mm -hmm. So I tell them it was my honor. So now look at your heart. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself for holding on to this for so long? <sighs> yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand over your heart. Go ahead and begin to release. All of that sadness, all of that mm -hmm. desperation, all of that anger, now knowing it was all planned. You were part of it. You played your role well. They thanked you. Mm -hmm. Tell me when I have that. You have it all. Else. Very good. Let's send it to the universe. <sighs> Let's release that. Now, mm -hmm. Shelley has been changing quite a bit throughout this time. Mm -hmm. She was connecting with spirits on the other side for, with the Ouija board. Mm -hmm. Are there any consequences to that? Not in her, but in the house. In the house. Mm -hmm. What happens when you open up a Ouija mm -hmm. board? Don't. Mm. You never know what is going to come through. Mm -hmm. So in her case, what happened? Uh, they opened up a portal. It's a so what's the best way for one to close a portal? Just asked for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And ask for it to be closed. Her hands need to go over the portal. She needs to ask for the angels to come and summon all the negativity and the entities in that house and send them back. Very good. Back into that portal mm -hmm. and then seal it with love and grace. Wonderful. Is that the same advice that you would recommend for anyone? Yes, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. As much as you think you are protected, don't open it. Mm -hmm. Now, Shelley was considering working with a pendulum also. No. Anything that requires something to move with force. You don't know the force that is moving it. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is the best way for Shelley to connect with that higher wisdom? It's always meditation for her. Okay. What about crystals? She was questioning. She likes crystals. They're pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Has she ever worked with crystals before? Yes, in the native life. In the native life. As a, the shaman, when she was alone. When she was alone? She, she worked a lot with nature and crystals. Mm -hmm. It's very much who I am. Mm -hmm. The nature. Everything surrounding it. Mm. Now, a question about something that happened about seven years ago with her. She says that all of a sudden her hands were on fire. Mm -hmm. That was from the house. That was from the house. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her what was going on? There is an entity in the basement. Mm -hmm. He knew that she was light. Her hands, the healers. Her feet, the grounding to Gaia and Mother Earth. He was trying to disconnect her from both. Okay. He was trying to sever the cords and the energy. Mm hmm She had help. People came and huh, 
the native man. The native man. She went to a psychic, mm -hmm. and he was there. He sent a blessing to the house, and it helped disconnect her from that entity. Mm -hmm. Good. And is she now protected? Yes, she knows how to protect herself. Very good. But sometimes she feels that she's not. She needs to get out of her head. Okay, good. Good. She has angels with her all the time. She does. Were one of these angels the ones that pulled her out of the water when she was caught in that undertow? What happened there? Would you take her to that moment? Yes, I'm trying to make sense of it and I can't. Mm -hmm. It was the spirit of her native mother that pulled her out. Mm -hmm. But her mother was alive on shore. So I'm not exactly sure. All right, so I'd like for go, go ahead. I'm going to tap your third eye. I want you to get out of your head and go deeper. Go deeper. Disconnect from the consciousness of Shelley and let's go to that part that knows. It was the spirit soul of my mother. Mm -hmm. She came and pulled me out of the water and then went back home. Wonderful. Even so, though my mother was on soul, it was like a fragment mm -hmm. piece of her that came and pulled me out. So talking about fragments, Shelley was wondering if we are all living at the same time that there is no time. Are there parts of her in the future that are helping perhaps with her children that are, mm. have reincarnated? Is she an ancestor to those ahead of her? I'm a little confused by the question. Mm. She will reincarnate as her daughter's granddaughter. Mm. She's already chosen that life. She has. Wonderful. Is there any other information that she needs mm. about that? All of her children are here to help the world. Mm -hmm. They don't believe it right now. They will awaken to in time. Mm -hmm. That's why they chose her as their mother. They will do great things. Her daughter is the most connected. Is there anything that you would like to tell her about that? Mm. She's too stubborn to listen right now anyways. Okay. All right, good. Now she's been getting a lot of signs from spirit. Mm. Is she making it up? Stop doubting yourself, mm -hmm. Shelley. Even if no one else believes you, you know what is right and what is true. Have more courage in yourself like your men had courage in you. Mm -hmm. On the battlefield when they, when they stepped onto it, they did it because of you. Because you led them and they believed in you and you gave them strength. Now it's time to believe in yourself and find that strength. So how is it that Shelley is going to be leading now? You can't tell her just yet. Mm. She still has a lot of work to do. She still needs to believe. Mm. So once she gets that out of the way, she stops doubting. Mm -hmm. She'll be moving forward faster. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's her native roots. That's why she is brought that forward because mm -hmm. it is the earth mm -hmm. and the nature and the environment she is to help heal it and she to help it ascend wonderful now she does question something about something that she heard recently mm. about a place 
And this place is a f- platform in space. Mm. Mm. And soaking up these colored rays of light. Where is this place? It is in another dimension in space. Mm-hmm. Would you take her there now? Mm. Mm. We did this to show her to come to you, Alba. Mm-hmm. Because she would see that Diane also has been there. What is this place? It's to help heal. It's like, as Diane said, like crystallizing the body. Mm -hmm. It's like these energy drinks of spirit. Mm -hmm. These rays that go through you and help give your energy a pep and to ascend and to be vibrate higher to break the veil between this dimension and the next and earth mm-hmm. and the spirit world what is the reason that this soul goes there for cleansing mm-hmm. for remembrance That she's not just of this body. Mm-hmm. Previously, she saw the form of Zachariah. Mm-hmm. She's also seen a centaur. Mm-hmm. Who is the centaur? That's another life. Mm-hmm. That's her in another life. Ah. Her other lives are all coming to her mm-hmm. for guidance, for strength to let go and to heal. Mm-hmm. Is there something from the centaur's life that she needs That was a good visit? life. That was a warrior life. Mm-hmm. That was a strong life. Very connected with nature. The centaurs are warriors. Warriors of nature. Mm-hmm. And warriors of animals. Was it on the earth or somewhere else? No, it's in a beautiful, beautiful planet. It's how you would picture... Huh? Almost like Harry Potter and, oh, what is that? Snow White in the forest. Mm -hmm. Where there's just trees and animals and harmony and water. Beautiful waterfalls, water everywhere. Mm -hmm. Shelley is to connect with the water. The warrior of peace. The warrior of peace. Mm-hmm. So is she bringing some of that warrior of peace to this world? Mm-hmm. That's why he shows up. Ah. So when she when he shows up in her dreams, what can she take from that? Mm. The strength. Mm-hmm. The peace. The beauty of the land, Ella. Mm-hmm. If you could see this place, this is what Earth is to become. Can you tell me about that? It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like people believe the Garden of Eden, mm-hmm. the colors will be vibrant. Everything is so calming. Beautiful. I have a question it's about amazing. that. As you're in this beautiful place, mm-hmm. yesterday as I was flying in, looking over the landscape, mm-hmm. seeing all of the damage that we have done to this earth. Oh, yes, I know. How is Gaia going to heal from all of this concrete, all of this plastic, all of these toxins? Mm. How can we create this world again? I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. What are we seeing? Mm. I don't want to tell. It's going to heal from the inside out. Mm-hmm. But there's going to be much devastation first. Mm -hmm. What do you see? I see great devastation. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. But as you separate yourself from that, knowing that we are spirit, and that we connect. I see two separate, Mm -hmm. almost like two separate worlds and we can go either way Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure I see like this I 
see this beautiful earth. Mm -hmm. And it has waterfalls and greenery. But unfortunately, on the outside, is like this gray devastation. It's like all of the cities in the man-made has become, like you say, plastic mm -hmm. and soot. There's a lot of soot. It's like a force field over top of this beautiful earth. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this means, but this is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and connect even deeper. Separate yourself from the ego mind, the one that questions and analyzes. And let's go even deeper. Connect from the oneness. I don't want to scare people. I don't want to scare them. They can go either way. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that we need to know is that the earth is going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. The earth is going to be so beautiful. So very beautiful. Will it be like the life of the centaur? <laughs> it's exactly what it's going to be like, Alma. Mm -hmm. Lush vegetation everywhere animals and humans living together again, mm -hmm. like you and Shelley talked earlier, mm -hmm. how we were supposed to live. Waterfalls, water, trees, birds, happiness. Everyone will be so happy. Mm -hmm. It will be the true heaven on earth. If you were to mm -hmm. sum it up in one sentence, mm -hmm about what we can do. Hmm. Radiate love. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Now I know that Shelley has been getting a lot of dreams mm -hmm. about all of her past mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. As she receives these dreams, should be re she be writing them down? Uh, yes, she has a journal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would be the best mm -hmm. way for her to interpret these dreams so that she can release any of the mm -hmm. leftover emotions from them? Meditate. Okay. Try to understand why mm -hmm. these certain past lives have come to her now. Mm -hmm. And what is she to take from them to apply to heal the earth? Mm -hmm. So the tornado under the stairs. Mm. What is that one about? Many tornadoes are to come. Many what? Tornadoes are to come. Many tornadoes are coming. Okay. What about the child afraid of the dark? Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes. Mm -hmm. If she would have just opened her eyes and saw that they were angels. She wouldn't have needed to be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid to open your eyes. As humans, don't be afraid to open your eyes and see that the beauty is here every day, everywhere. Don't close your eyes, open them. Wonderful. What about the trust issue? Mm. The preacher who is betrayed. Mm -hmm. That's... Don't trust everything that you hear from people. Mm -hmm. 
Um, go with what you feel. Go with your instincts. Believe what you believe. Listen to your heart. Listen to what the spirit world tells you. Mm -hmm. None of this mishmash on television and YouTube and the media and trust. <laughs> so don't trust any of that. Don't trust any of that. Okay. What about Joan of Arc? Mm. What are the coincidences of her having the same birthday, the same mm. Mm. Uh, in her family, things like that? What does she have to do with Joan of Arc? What's the connection? I don't think she necessarily was Joan of Arc, but I think she feels like Joan of Arc. The warrior piece? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm She's here. She needs to listen to God. She needs to fight to save the earth, and to heal the earth. Mm hmm Like the warrior centaur that she was like the leader on the battlefield. Wonderful. Now she was very, very fortunate and lucky and blessed to get this appointment. Mm -hmm. Why have you brought her here from mm -hmm. so far away? You're helping her, Alva. Mm -hmm. You're helping her see who she is. She needed this. She needed validation. She needs to feel like she's not crazy mm -hmm. and that she's actually doing good when she goes into the forest and extends her energy out and heals wherever she goes to different places. She was just in Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. She did a lot of healing there. A lot of healing. Wonderful. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her? You're amazing, Elva. You know, you helped her see things, connect the dots. Mm -hmm. She will see more in the days to come. Wonderful. How mm. can she con continue to be connected with you? Getting the ego out of the way, getting the doubts out of the way, what's the best way for her? For her, it's meditation. Okay. It's always been meditation. Mm -hmm. She's only just started. She has, there's so much she can do through meditation and to stay in, in nature and go to lands that need healing mm -hmm. and to anyone can do this just ground your feet into mother earth and open your lotus your crown chakra connect the two and just extend your energy over the land over everywhere that you go just ask to heal everything wonderful hmm is there anything else? Or are we complete today? No, we've done so much today. Thank you so much, Abba. Thank you for assisting her today. <sighs> Wide awake, mm -hmm. completely alert, feeling wonderful mm -hmm. all over. Thank you, Abba. Welcome back. Wow. That was amazing. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Uh, that was fantastic. I, my feet are cold and hot at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, he did, little bugger. <laughs> amazing. It was fabulous. It was fabulous. It was good. Do you Thank remember you. all of it? Yes. I never laughed. Mm -hmm. well, of course not. Fuck. <laughs> You even used oh the Oh my bathroom. goodness. Yeah. That was that was strange. That was very very strange. But oh my goodness. You feel good. I feel fantastic. And I have to go to the washroom. So, again. is this something you want to share? <laughs> of course. All right, Shelly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't even. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Yes. So, how do you feel? There are no words. <laughs> there, are, there are no words. Um, Tell like everybody. Said, my feet are so cold, yet they're sweating right now. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. That's Marcus. That is Marcus. That was not very nice. And it's funny, I pictured him like this, like a, um, from an old cartoon with the greasy mustache and the top hat. He was just laughing, having fun ah. down there. It wasn't very nice. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, they're very And you cold, were able but to... But I feel great. You feel good. I you feel, feel different amazing. than when you came in? Yes. So what did you... So much lighter. So what did you feel hypnosis was for you? 
How did it feel like to you? I was talking and I was controlling what I was saying, but I wasn't controlling what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> it was like to speak and the words just came out. Yeah. And uh, in the beginning I thought, oh dear, we're, we're going to run into trouble. I'm not getting anything. And then all of a sudden it just yeah, took it off. just started. Isn't that amazing? It just took off. It's you did fantastic. It was. <laughs> wow. It was. And what is this beautiful place? <laughs> <laughs> this this heaven on earth? Yeah. It's um, it's fantastic. It's. Cool. And you were a little afraid to say stuff there. Yeah, there's still some that's in my head that I'm just mm -hmm. afraid to say just because what I see doesn't seem to be very nice. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, um, well, I, I almost picture it as, you know, uh, in order for you to have a baby, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you, you got to go through some labor <laughs> pain, <laughs> some labor pain, right? So. And it's almost like, okay, you know, yeah. we're going to have this beautiful baby. Yeah. This, and but, that's almost what it seemed right? like. It seemed like there was this devastation, but then at the same time as the devastation, it wasn't merely, it was like a cloud of beautiful light that came across the wow. earth and changed it all like that. Mm. Everything fell and then everything sprouted up. So it's amazing. It is amazing. Wow. It is amazing. So, so yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. don't spend too much time thinking about this. Yes, exactly. It, it, exactly. You know, just live just, your day and we're here and all to, it. to spread our light. Yes. And yeah, it's, um, it's all about nature and love. Yeah. And so do you recommend this to other oh, people? Are you kidding? Of course, Elba. <laughs> and how long have you been uh, <laughs> waiting for this? So you really want me to tell everybody? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. They're just going to hate you. I know they are. The first time I went on Elba's website and clicked to go on, there was an opening come up for today. So my very first time. And I'll tell you, that was a cancellation. Mm -hmm that happened yeah uh, and within seconds this thing popped up mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. uh, it was a miracle that it even happened yes who knows yes yes it is and where, where did you come from I came from Woodstock Ontario Canada from Ontario and right now yes. we are in Fort Lee New Jersey yeah. and behind me is a beautiful <laughs> view of my high school mm -hmm. where I graduated 45 years ago mm -hmm. So for some reason, <laughs> I'm in this area transmitting my light after all of this. after all of that. So yeah, yeah it's crazy. So mm -hmm. I'm all over the world doing these yeah. sessions. If you want to have a session with me, just mm -hmm. go to my website, go to my um, newsletter page, mm -hmm. sign up for my newsletter. It comes out about once a month. It tells you where I'm going to be. The calendar is only open for those weeks that I tell you about, and then it gets closed again until I come out with the next place that I'm going to go to. I don't plan very far out. So um, if you're telling me that my calendar is closed until 2022, it's not true. I only <laughs> do like two or three weeks at a time. So wait for the newsletter. And if you can't get a session with me, please come to one of my events. Uh, I'm having gatherings all over the world. And this is a great time for like-minded individuals to meet. Did you I'm going to go. That's yeah. for sure. And so Yes. you go there and you meet mm -hmm. other people who are thinking like you who are also watching mm -hmm. these videos they're on the same page so it's a good place to meet these folks and uh, get a connection with them and the most wonderful thing about getting together with other people that are like-minded is that if your light is strong by itself imagine a whole room full of light it's really an amazing experience so I hope I get to meet you either at one of these sessions or at one of my gatherings and mm -hmm. thank you for watching this video it was really beautiful thank I loved you, it Elva. thanks bye-bye thanks Give oh my goodness oh I can't even begin to describe how I feel Thank you.